We have some mail to open for you. Some envelopes first. Uh, this is a Christmas card and it is from Sharon May. So thank you very much to Sharon for sending that to me. And you know what? I'm gonna start hanging them as I get them. I'm gonna hang them on the wall. So thank you very, very much. This envelope is actually a um, from the post office. It's clear in the front. And it says, uh, damaged by me mechanical equipment. Um, so the envelope is actually from Alicia. And Alicia sends me uh, coupons. And so it, her envelope got torn and I think they were worried that okay. stuff, yeah, stuff was gonna start falling out. So they put it inside that envelope. But now I didn't lose anything. So Alicia sent me a bunch of Bath and Body coupons. Uh, thank you very, very much. Um, and then uh, she sent me some for her sister Schubert's, which we love, know? Nature Valley. So thank you very much for the coupons. I appreciate that a lot. Then we have three boxes. This one, I have no idea who this is from. It says, it's from a company. I think it's from a company. It says, Whoopi, we're here. Please handle with care, perishable. And then what initials? It says J D J L Cakes, and it's in New Hampshire. J L Cakes. Hmm. Okay, there's that. Okay. Hello, we are J L Cakes, home of New Hampshire's Whoopie Pie. J L Cakes is expanding. Our online store and existence is new. To generate some buzz, we're sending out a box of our goodies for you to feature. We are a family business. Seriously, it's just the two of us. And all of our products are small batch production. Baking takes place at the beginning of every week and national shipments go out every Wednesday. If you have any questions, call anytime. Jody and Lisa. So this is www.jlcakes.com. Got a sticker. I got a sticker. Get some whoopee, jlcakes.com. And so let me- It has a sticker on them. Okay, let's see what we have here. There's, they have a sticker on the inside saying thank you. There's a lot in here. So we Ooh, have chocolates. a chocolate snowball, which oh, is, yeah. it's huge. A chocolate snowball, another chocolate snowball, and a vanilla snowball. So these, they're, they're huge snowballs. It, it is uh, heavy. It is very heavy. Um, it is uh, five ounces, 141 grams. It says eat or freeze uh, by 11.25. So uh, that, that is awesome. So thank you very much. These are heavy. That is seriously heavy. Classic whoopie pie. Uh, eat or freeze by 1125. It says this product is made in a residential kitchen, but it's licensed by the city of Berlin, New Hampshire. So they have to jump through hoops to get to uh, make things in their residence. So that means clean, cleaning, all that stuff. Probably check really helpful. Yes, they, they have Something to- Something like us making stuff in our cookies, I mean our kitchen and so on. Exactly, <laughs> yeah, they have to do special stuff. So these are both the classic whoopie pies and they're huge. These are, this is a Mexican whoopie, spicy chocolate and cayenne pepper. Look how huge this is. This one is a cookies and cream whoopee. Can you see the cream in they're, that? They're, it's amazing how heavy they are. Baklava. I can't even imagine. I love bak baklava. A baklava whoopee pie. I think these are both the same. And these are, yeah, pumpkin spice. And they give us a little card. So this is awesome. Um, I have not heard of this company before and we will absolutely do reviews of all of these. Uh, JLCakes.com. Yeah, New Hampshire. In New Hampshire. This is from Aiden and Aiden has sent this stuff before. So Aiden is, Aiden is the one who turned me on to Chewy. 
uh, Chewy.com, and that is where um, I get Chapel's litter from now. Uh, Avery's also sent us different things in the past, of course, but uh, most recently, that is what Aiden sent us was uh, stuff from Chewy, and I'm so glad that he did. What does that say? That? To Nanny and Papa Dunn, I have included a couple of outfits for Gavin and Amelia when they do the arts and crafts activity so they don't ruin their good clothes. And, oh, that's so, so apparently he's put arts and crafts in here for um, Gavin maybe. and Amelia. Mm -hmm. Let me see. I got that one. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, dear Nanny and Papa Dunn, um, Aiden bought us Halloween baskets, art and coloring stuff to do instead of trick or treating. We asked him to buy you this card because we love you so much. Uh, P.S. I love your family too. Kindest regards, Aiden, um, in Iowa City, Iowa. Okay, so this should be fun. This should be a lot of fun. There's five. So this, let's see. Oh, that's so nice. That is for the young master. Oh, I'm look just getting how out what I see. Huge. So. And these are the perfect size. G Gavin is gonna love these. Yes, that is that is the perfect size for Gavin. He will fit right in these. And this is for Amelia. And isn't it funny that he sent unicorn stuff and she was a unicorn for Halloween. Yeah, she loves unicorns. Yes. She was a unicorn for Halloween. These are shorts. And this is a more, more shorts. No, they're girls' bike shorts. Oh. Thank you very, very That's all the much. Clients. Yes, they're going to have a fit when the next time they come over here and get those. Oh, wow. Like okay, so I have a fall uh, pot holders, which are nice. And uh, we have a napkins that say thankful and plates and uh, utensils. Is that, is that shorter than? No, they're normal. Okay. Yeah. They look shorter. Yeah, and it all matches. It's all for the fall. Around the world. Learning to read. Level three. Um, so that we have around the world. Extreme animals is level two. Uh, Landforms and weather. And Gavin's a good reader. Mm -hmm. um, ocean life is level one. And then space. There might be more here. I don't Gavin know. Gavin loves space. Does like space. Okay. Ooh. Colors. God made colors. Earth. Seasons. Animals. These are awesome. Aww. These are so neat. Okay. And then we have Aesop's Fables. Mother Goose, The Three Little Pigs, Goldilocks, oh my goodness, Henny Penny, oh wow, that's the first in the room. Hansel and Gretel, Peter Pan, these are so nice. And then we have um, Happy Holidays Col Coloring and Activity Book. We have a Crayola coloring book, Cosmic Cats. Aiden loves cats. Um, Aiden has cats. A Crayola Shopkins. And there are all kinds of pictures on the back to color. 32 pages of games, puzzles, mazes, and more. And it actually comes with Crayola markers down here. Uh, there is a Go Fish game. And then this, a puzzle book. Oh, that's neat. Brain Busters, the ultimate puzzle book. Oh, wow, that's for us. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yes. That's crossword. This, book. yes. But I love stuff like this. 
So we will enjoy that. All right, now this, these are like bags. Hold on. My goodness. Hold on, there's more. I love Peter Pan. I don't know if you want to open this completely, but there's a whole oh, bunch wow. of crowns and there's all kinds of things. Okay. And there's, there's two of them. I wonder if they're both the same. So I could open up one. No, they're no. they're different. This, this one's got a unicorn in it. I see this that. is for Gavin and that one's for Amelia. Oh my goodness. I cannot believe you bought all this uh, for them. Uh, we have Crayola. These are erasers. Um, we have a Matchbox car, um, a truck. Uh, oh my goodness. We have a Justice League a character, uh, the Flash. You like the Flash? We is that game? No, they're crowns. They're crowns. But you've got Crayola. You've I got see glitter. Oh yes. You've got pastels. Glitter. Neon. Neon. And just regular regular Crayola crowns. This um, is too much. It really is too much. You all, um, it, it uh, makes me emotional because you all spent uh, so much on them that you all did this for them. Um, this is a Batman and um, we have another Batman and then we have a, this is like an old school, I think. <laughs> you got the blue ones old. A blue one and, and then a black new. one. And then we have uh, glue, and we have pencils, Crayola pencils, and then well, no, there is colored pencils, um, and then we have regular, uh, regular pencils. Those are really nice. And then we have some that are... Um, these have like skulls and uh, like under the sea creatures on them. This is a uh, let me play dot to oh, dot. dot, dot yeah. I don't know if he's ever done a dot to dot. Um, I don't either. But this he is knows a his great numbers, opportunity. So. This is Crayola calligraphy. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's neat. And it teaches them how to uh, do the calligraphy. Calligraphy. Cl Calligraphy. This is oh, a sketch pad. A sketch pad. And I want to see you fit all that back in there. This right? is a oh construction paper. And oh yeah, and that's it. Oh, my gosh. Okay, lot. I can fit this back in here. Hey, um, I'm better than you think. And I know how they put it in here, so I can put it back exactly like they had it. Um I can't believe that you all did all this. I mean, if for just for Halloween and for no other reason. Um, I mean, that's, I just think that's so very, awesome. very thoughtful. And now uh, uh, Amelia has a bag as well. Um, her bag has some of the same stuff I can see right now. And this is a nice bag for them to mm -hmm. keep. Mm -hmm. This has a unicorn and she loves unicorns. This has a, a, purse. a purse. She's gonna love that. And it ha it also has bracelets on mm -hmm. there. And then we have crowns for her, and another unicorn. And of course, it's not a unicorn. Yeah, it's a My Little Pony, like. Oh, oh, I said unicorns. They're both horses. <laughs> That's well, cause I don't flying horses. They, yeah, they're flying horses. This is a Barbie character. I've never seen these mm -hmm. before. Soccer. Soccer Barbie. And this is a pop star. Uh, this is a ballerina Barbie. This one is astronaut. astronaut. And then we have some of the, uh, the uh, erasers. And then we have some of the pencils. 
These are, uh, it says, Superstar, you rock and well done on them. And then she also has a sketch pad and a calligraphy. calligraphy book and some construction paper. Um, awesome. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, I don't even know what to say. It, it, uh, that was absolutely very, very considerate of you. That's so very, very thoughtful. And um, they're going to have a fit when they come over here. And Gavin is a very good reader. Um, they, they, that's something that they work on daily is his reading. And, of course, they work on his writing. So, um, that was so nice of you. And all of these books. Oh, the books are awesome. Too. Yes, I, I love it. Thank you very, very, very much. Um, very much appreciate it. My goodness, Aiden, you always surprise me. Um, and now um, we do we have time to get started? Re restart? Um, we have some time. We have like okay. seven minutes before this camera cuts off. We have a box from Maria in Germany, and Maria had sent us a box before of vegan treats. And you know what? Some things um, we didn't care for so much that she sent. Just to be honest. But we still absolutely love trying those things. And it's oh, yeah. always neat to try new things. But what surprised us too were a bunch, uh, several of the things that she sent us before made it to our favorites. So even though there were things we didn't like that, that you know, just because they're vegan, who cares? But some of the things just uh, we might not have cared for, but then there were things that we loved too. So... Um, these are no sugar added, high protein, white, crisp, lower carb. It's called Frankonia, Frankonia chocolate. So, this is a white crisp, this is white hazelnut crisp, and this is chocolate crisp, but of course, I've never heard of that brand at all. Milka, you know we've heard of the Milka. This is, says it's new. It is a, a cookie snacks. So it looks like it's a bar, but it's a, a cookie bar, which is awesome. This is Milka dark milk, but this is with caramel. This is a peanut crisp and Oreo white. And then we- uh, We're gonna get a mixture of stuff. So. We've had this brand before, but never these. These are, um, it looks like a milk uh, cream with a chocolate cookie, a chocolate biscuit. And then these are uh, pickup bars. This is the Choco Hazelnut. This is Salted Caramel. There's two of those. Nope, there's three Chocolate Caramel, three um, uh, Salted Three salty caramel, three chocolate hazelnut. I will be able to talk. And then we have all kinds of milk and stuff here. Oops. We have. Um, yeah, I think I got all the loose. These are with Oreo. Milka with Oreo. And then I don't know what the light ones are. But you know what? She sent me, um, Maria sent me a cheat sheet, and so these might be on the cheat sheet that she sent me. Um, so there's all kinds of Milka stuff here. These are car little Milka caramels. These are also Milka, uh, but they're in pink containers. These are Choco wafers that are like, they're like a, a wafer type cookie. Um, and these are Oreo Milkas. Um, so we have the Oreo and the caramel. So she just sends us all kinds of Milka stuff. Haribo Jelly Beans. Um, we really like the Haribo. Ooh, these look good. Oh, these are new. And these are out... Um, well, I was going to say they're out for Christmas, but I don't think so. I think they're just out. I thought they were snowmen, but they're not. They're um, hippopotamuses. hippopotamuses. Yes. Hippopotamuses. These are hippopotamus, and it looks like you get maybe apple and banana. 
Um, all kinds of flavors in there. They look squishy though, like marshmallows. I'm assuming that's sour. These are new, yeah, these are sours. And it looks like you get cherry, cola, no telling what other flavors are in there. Like I said, Maria sent me a cheat sheet. I will definitely be looking at that cheat sheet. These are called Oh Wow Chocolates. We have a wild berry yogurt drink. We have a cookie coffee break, a caramel peanut explosion, and salty hazelnut caramel. I've never seen those before. These, we have tried this brand, but probably not uh, this flavor. This is the winter edition, but I do recognize that brand. This is winter edition, isn't it? Yeah. I, I, I recognize the brand, but I couldn't tell you if we've had these flavors before. This one looks like it's apple and uh, cinnamon, apple cinnamon. And this one looks vanilla? like vanilla. Does that look like a uh, donut? Um, <laughs> what is the cookie called? Um, uh, just a plain a shortbread cookie. I don't know if it's shortbread or not. I don't, I don't have a clue. Um, We'll figure it out though. Vanilla cream biscuit covered in milk chocolate. That's what it is, if I read the back. She said that she sent us some Kinder, some Minions for, this is for Gavin and Amelia. So they'll get some. These we did a review of, but these are called, these are Frit, but these are smoothie style. I don't think ours were the, mm -hmm. the smoothie so. style. So, uh, uh, can't wait to try those. And those are all different flavors. And then we have some uh, Schlogetten. Uh, these, oh, we've had that brand. yes, they sell this brand at Aldi, but I don't think we've had these flavors. Um, I'm not sure. Popcorn and caramel and uh, something and cream. It looks like cinnamon and cream. And then we have some Ritter Sports. This is the um, uh, Speculoos, it looks like. And this one um, might be hazelnut. Like it's I said, hazel. she, she sent me a cheat sheet. I haven't looked at it yet. I didn't want to look at it too close. And then this one is, says uh, something with cocoa, maybe, maybe. We have the uh, Knopper's brand, which we've had this brand before, but these are new flavors. Um, and we will figure out what these flavors are and uh, do the review when we do the review of them. Um, yeah, there's just, there's, I'm sure it's on here. If I look close enough, I could probably tell, but I can't tell from the front. It looks like caramel and peanut. And then this one looks like coconut and caramel. Um, these are Milky Way Crispy Rolls. And if we have had any of these, because these sound familiar, then we will just enjoy them. I'm not saying we've definitely had them, but just in case we have, because these do sound familiar, but I don't know. These are Kinder Bueno. Um, that one's regular white and dark. Oh, okay. So Kevin figured that out quicker than I would have. Duplo, ooh, Duplo, this is a coconut. These are different. And then what do you have? Um, uh, coconut white. in the white, yeah, or choco, choco nut. Choco nut. Or choc nut, choc nut white. Kinder it's gonna Carl's. take us a while to do all these. No, we're on. Yeah, no, 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 I'm saying the reviews. Oh yeah, okay. yeah. Uh, oh, there's another white of the Kinder thing. Cards. My stomach is literally growling as we're sitting here. Is that here. your stomach? I thought it was that, an airplane flying over. <laughs> My stomach. <laughs> well, we went from the big um, whoopie pies, pies and, and cakes to all this chocolate. And yeah, my stomach's like, um, yeah, these are Hanuda Regal. Uh, these are, uh, there's, uh, it looks like milk and hazelnut maybe. Now this one did get squished. Or it feels like it got squished. Uh, yes. Oh, yes. 
Santa died. <laughs> Santa's, Santa, Santa's got run over by a reindeer. <laughs> yeah, Santa got run over by, yeah, he definitely got run over by a reindeer, but he's in the package. Yeah, so, nothing broke so up. So we'll so. still get to try him. This is a <laughs> Milka Oreo white. He's be cracked in pieces. Yeah, he's just going to be uh, ready for us to try. And then these are Kinder Happy Hippos. And... Um, yeah, I, it looks like chocolate, but it's hard to tell. So uh, we will be figuring all this out. Maria sent me pictures. There was not this much in the pictures because... She wanted to give it away. I don't think she wanted to give it away. I think she wanted us to be surprised because she sent me pictures of... It was a bunch of stuff, but it wasn't like this much stuff. I think she added more to the box. Um, so this is quite a bit of stuff thank, thank you. you thank all. you everybody for yeah. your generosity we really appreciate it yeah I, it's just absolutely um uh, we're blown away really we're blown away and i know that uh Andrew and christina are going to be blown away at your generosity too um aiden uh but thank you to maria and jl cakes of course we will try to uh, start getting these reviews. Mm -hmm. I'm uh, sure the cakes will have to be done soon. Yes, we will. I, I, I'll be honest uh, uh, Because we're opening all this at the same time Maria I will definitely have to Review these cakes first because they're fresh. Yeah, you know, okay. and it does say that you can freeze them uh, But we will try to eat them as soon as possible so that we do yeah. not have to freeze yeah, them. Yeah, because I don't like to take a chance on changing anything for the review. Yeah, exactly. So thank you all very, very much. We have three boxes to open from for two, you from two different people. The first one is from Bobby. Bobby lives in California, uh, in the land of the perfect weather. That's a nice, uh, um, that's a nice ooh, one. that is nice. That's a nice gift paper. Uh, yes, that's very nice. I will keep that. I will, I, because I am thrifty, and I will keep that tissue paper. I will seriously use that. Not very far. Oh, she told me. Yes. She, okay, so if this is actually really sad, what I'm going to tell you real quick. Um, Disney, because Disneyland has not opened back in Cal, uh, California, they haven't opened in California, a lot of those people, like um, she sent me a Christmas ornament from Club 33. She said those people have been laid off. She said, or let go, yeah. not furloughed. Oh, because like, I know go. they furloughed more people. Yeah, she this, said this not furloughed. They've been let go. And uh, so she has been going to Knott's Berry Farm um, and enjoying uh, getting to try foods and stuff like that from there. I guess Disney's just the volume, but the, um, the, the amount of people at Disney's a lot different than like places like that. You know what though? They're doing it in Florida. They are. They're at Walt Disney World, it's just a, open in Florida, and they're- But that's a local decision by California government, oh, right? Oh, how awesome. Yes, I think, and you correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that is the decision of the Florida, I mean the uh, California governor. And I'd say a lot of people are very ticked off lot. about it. I'd say you get both sides, like everything. Yeah, okay. You probably get some people that think, it's you know, a it's a good thing. Either you've got a pandemic going on and you don't have any business opening up an amusement park. Why do people need to be going to an amusement park during a pandemic? I've seen these arguments. I know these people are out there. And then you have other people that say... Um, people have this, look at all the jobs that have been lost and they're not even thinking about necessarily people going and having a good time. They're just thinking about jobs and people, mm -hmm. people keeping their family afloat the and yeah, yeah the, people having money for Christmas and, and stuff like, and just to pay their bills and buy food and stuff like that. It's a big deal. Mm -hmm. Um, I know that I watch, um, the Diz on YouTube. I've talked about them many, many times if you're a Disney fan. Um, they have brought a group to light um, on Facebook that you can support people that have lost their jobs through Disney, but they have other jobs. Like maybe they make Christmas ornaments or they make cookies or candies or they might may make pillows or something. You, They're letting you know they have this list where you can uh, buy things from them basically to help them. Oh, and I think that's wonderful. That cool. okay. So anyway, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Um, you know me, I could talk all day long about this stuff that I read about. Knott's Berry Farm, 
We have a yogurt boysenberry bar, a boysenberry pie bar, and a milk chocolate boysenberry bar. Boysenberry. Um, this is absolutely awesome. I've never seen these before. Thank you so much. And this is a Knott's Berry Farm boysenberry candy cane. How cool. There's two servings in the candy cane. It's only 90 calories per serving. That is awesome. Ooh, a cobbler mix. Just add berries. We don't have boysenberries. We don't have boysenberries. Maybe some of Did right you here. send boysenberries? <laughs> some jam or something. I'm, I'm kidding. Um, okay, so it, it, she put it in this bag to make sure yeah, that it's Yeah, just in case it didn't explode. Yes. That way if it does explode, only that thing is going to get ruined. Yes. But. Yes. Well, and it doesn't look like drugs. <laughs> That's true. Uh, that is so neat. Ooh. Berry mm. Market Seedless Boysenberry Jam. Oh, this is so neat. So this is the cobbler. See what wonder what you need. Pour one 15 ounce can of boysenberries. So you think they sell cans somewhere. of them at Walmart or someplace? Walmart. I tell you what, if, if we if, have to, we'll order. If anybody has boysenberries, I would think it would be Fresh Market. Fresh Market. Yeah, fresh because Market has all of them. They too. have um they have stuff like I've said before, like in Paul Hollywood's cookbook. It's a British cookbook. I said, where am I going to find this stuff around here? Where? The, who's going to have the stuff? Well, if I had gone to Fresh Market, Fresh Market would have had that yeah, stuff. Yeah, because we've ordered because, on Amazon. Yes, we've ordered from Amazon, and we should have just gone to Fresh Market. Um, and so she sent us the boysenberry jam and boysenberry barbecue sauce. Yeah, I don't know. How cool! I don't feel anything else kind of You know, heavy. she sent me an email and she told me that she had uh, tried stuff. I mean, maybe I missed it. Maybe she had told me she sent me these and I, foods and I just missed it in the, the email. I didn't think so. I thought she said she had been trying some of their foods. Ah, that's cute. Oh my. Is that just an ornament goodness. or is there something in there? It's a, no, it's just a Disneyland ornament. That's cool. Is it? That oh, ceramic. Okay. is adorable. Oh my goodness. So what does it say on? You know, she sent me an email and she told me, she said, Starbucks didn't come out with new mugs at Disney. She said they came out with tumblers. So you're, you were expecting bigger tumblers. I thought, I misunderstood completely. I thought she meant What's she's going to send me books. So I've never seen these. I mean, this is cool. Um, yeah, I have never seen this. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to try to hold these up. See, I'm going to use some of our tissue paper. <laughs> okay, let's see. So this, it has the Starbucks symbol on it. And then, then it says Disneyland Park on the back. So there's that one. And then, there's another one. And this says Cal Disney California Adventure. And then, ooh, I love this color. It will remind me of Play-Doh. That is so pretty. What does this one say? Disney California Adventure. I think these are awesome. And then this one, it has the castle in the Starbucks. So it doesn't say anything, it just has the castle. And I think that is very pretty too. Oh, and there's one more. Oh, I love this. Okay, so this one is for Christmas. And I believe, doesn't Starbucks have mugs that come out that color for Christmas? I think they do. And all this free wrapping paper. And this says, Happy Holidays. Oh, that is so All this free cool. tissue paper to go along. Look at the detail on that. 
Oh yeah, you know that I will use that tissue paper. Oh yeah, every bit of it. Oh yeah, I will use it all. Um, those are awesome. And those, um, these, these are even better than what I thought because I, I had seen pictures of the full size tumblers and I think they're cute. But I thought, well, I'll display them, but it's not really something because usually we drink out of a water bottle. And I thought I'll display it, but I probably won't use it that much. These, I love these. these you know where these are going. These are going on my, my Starbucks true. tree. And what I'll probably have to do, um, <coughs> since there's five of them, I'll probably take five ornaments off that I have on there. Not Starbucks. Heavy. Not Starbucks. Yeah. I've put other ornaments on there, like vintage uh, antique uh, Christmas ornaments and stuff like that and some little ones that I've gotten here or there. I'll take five off and I'll put these on. I absolutely love these and thank you so much. Um, they were not, none of this was cheap at all and I appreciate it so much. Um, and I can't wait to try the stuff from Knott's Berry Farm. That is so cool. Um, you know, I never asked Bobby when she's there. She rides, yeah. rides uh, the rides. What? It's a paper. But I'm thinking, I'm thinking she told me that the rides weren't open. Maybe that's what she said. That the it is rides, like an amusement Yeah, but I'm thinking she, I don't know why I'm thinking. I'm probably totally wrong. But I was thinking in her email, she was saying that the rides weren't open, but you could walk around and eat and stuff like that. Makes sense, I guess. But she said that people really in California, they, you know, they really miss the getting to go to Disneyland. And you know, if you have- Some people some, might have moved there just for that reason. I know, that's what I thought when this whole pandemic thing happened. Think about the people. I'm a member of this group on Facebook uh, called Moving to Orlando and I thought about the people who had just moved. You've lived somewhere your whole life. Let's say you lived, you've lived in Minnesota your whole life and you've uprooted your whole family to move to Orlando just to be closer to the, the magic, um, to be closer to the experience of Disney. And then this whole thing happens and everything is shut down. It's oh my gosh. I mean, it I can, yes it would and I can't even imagine. Um, I think that would be absolutely terrible. Um, I mean, I know first world problems, right? There's a lot more. I know that. I realize that. But still, it sucks, you know? So, I hope Disney uh, land opens soon in California uh, for everybody's sake. Um, now we have two boxes from Jason. Jason lives in Maryland. And Jason has sent us so many things in the past. He, he has different grocery stores in Maryland than we have here. So he too. sees different items there. But now I will tell you, he told me that some of the things he put in the box we've already reviewed. And he said, just keep them and enjoy them because he said, I don't eat them anyway. And he said, I didn't realize you had already reviewed them before I put them in the box. He said, but just enjoy them. So these are Mama Geraldine's gluten-free Parmesan herb cheese straws. And yes, he put them in here so that he could flatten out the box, which was very smart. I've never seen this brand. Hmm. These are made in Jasper, Georgia. Manufactured by, get this, the Bodacious Food Company. Bodacious. Hmm. And I won't repeat, I was gonna quote from a movie, and I better not, because I'll offend somebody if I oh. say it. It's from an officer and a gentleman. Oh, yeah. And it uses the word Bodacious, but I'll just leave that out. Um, these are Vidalia brand sweet onion petals made with real Vidalia onions, which sounds good. Oh, hello. Fisher's mm -hmm. popcorn. I think this was one of the things that we've reviewed. Now, I know uh, I'm not going to remember everything, but I think this could have been something that we reviewed. Um, so. You know anything, I'll look up everything. And if we haven't reviewed it, of course I will review it. Um, but it does, caramel popcorn. It does seem like I remember Fishers. Ooh, 
Ooh. All right. <laughs> Bless you. Limited time originals. This is a store brand. I couldn't see what the store was. A food hold. Wonder. I, th I, th I thought he told me maybe Food Lion. Could yeah. that be it? Food Lion? Because we don't have a Food Lion here. These are holiday gingerbread cream cookies. Eggnog shortbread cookies. And these are the chocolate cookies. I can't wait to try these. Uh, this will be awesome because uh, we don't get these around here. Food line. Food line. That's what I thought he said. Um, these are Sweetzels. Sweetzels. Well, at least that's what this one's from. Spiced. That says food line though. This one yeah, does. Yeah. Um, spiced wafers. Philadelphia's original since 1910. And so they look like they would be kind of like gingerbread or something. So we have tried these. Yes. So these are the Slim Jim's pork rinds. We have squealing hot and hot hog wild barbecue. Yes. Ah, the cereal. So it's, it's food line. PB. Food line. Okay. Some of the best, Kevin probably doesn't even remember it. Some of the best PB&J cereal we had was from Aldi. It was delicious. Terrific peanut butter and jelly cereal. It was so I'm good. I'm sure I ate it. So, oh, you ate it. So, <laughs> so I ate all the cereal in here. So it will be interesting to see made with real peanut butter and strawberry. So yes, that will be very, very fun to try. Two candies. Uh, these are Haribo Sour Streamers. And these are Ring Pop Gummies. And you can make a chain, like a bracelet. That's so cool. Oh, thank you for sending these. I saw a picture of these and I thought, well, we'll never get those. Oh, because I've only seen the, the Aldi seven layer deal. But yeah, this is hers game day flavors. This is seven layer depth and it's from hers and hers is pretty good. It seems like they had another flavor out too that was hers. So I. But um but I thought, well, we will I thought we'll never see them where we're at because we don't get a lot of hers. No, I don't occasionally we get they'll get a bunch of like Ollie's or something. Oh all, yeah, Ollie's. All yeah. Ollie's has, has a bunch. There, somebody uh, left a comment just uh, re very, very recently on one of the hers, they were hers, I think they were potato chips, and they had like that Stubbs barbecue. Yeah, yeah. They were awesome. And he's like, do you know where I can get these in Canada? And I said, I haven't even seen those in Kentucky since we did that review no. at all. And we, it we, seems I think like we got them at all these. Uh, or, the, or did I've we get them, them at Rural all. King? I don't know, I've seen them at all these. After that. I was thinking we well, I know at least one of the Stubbs ones. I know we got one of them at Rural King. I'm thinking the Kingsford. Oh, okay. Barbie, that's what I'm um, but I'm like, I haven't even seen them here since we did that review. So we don't get a lot of hers mm -hmm. in our area. No. So thank you very, very well, we much. We get the regular flavors, but not the, nothing special. Okay, and more Mama Geraldine's. Mm -hmm. So this one was the Parmesan herb. This Chipotle cheddar pimento cheese and uh, aged cheddar. Okay, it's something I know that you, you, uh, Kevin, uh, if sometimes it's a week before, now he does read his comments on Lunchtime Review. He does read them, I'm telling you, but I know it's been like a week since he's read them. You have not read the amount of people who have never had pimento cheese. Oh, really? It's not a thing. In and a lot of places? Yes, and there somebody was even like, "Don't you heat that up?" Or <laughs> no, it's cold cheese. No, it's cold. It's, it's cold. basically cheese and mayonnaise, and um, and people were trying to think of other things you could do with it. And somebody else commented and said, 
uh, around here, we just eat it on white bread, just yeah, you like you bread. do. You or you can put it on a cheeseburger or a hamburger as your cheese. I've had I've had a few of those. And loved it at oh, A&W. Like some of the best cheeseburger I think I've ever yes. had. It's, you know, it's messy as messy as can be. I did. And um, the Joelle's Hot Chicken. Joelle's Hot Chicken, the, which we have a... A new one. Ke yeah, mm -hmm. Kevin had to go out of his way when he, on his Lone oh, Star Review channel. Oh, to an awful channel. location. Horrible, horrible. Yeah, for, it was bad for parking and everything. Oh, it was the whole area. Now we have it's one right at a very convenient location right. for yeah. whenever he starts going out to eat again. I don't know when that'll be. People yeah. ask all the time. I don't know when that'll be, but we do have a location that's that's open during all this that's going on. I know. They opened, they opened up a new restaurant. And it'll be really good when people are over there shopping. I think it will too. But no, pimento cheese, we did these little appetizers. We bought those uh, phyllo dough or however you yeah. say it. Um, those the, the, the cups the, the, the and you can, you, you did either eat those, uh, you could eat it cold, but you, uh, the best way to have it is you heat them up in the oven. We had never had pimento cheese heated in the oven before doing, besides on a hamburger. Yeah, which is not really heated. Right before doing that appetizer and we both said we liked it it was excellent heated mm -hmm. in those little cups it was wonderful but i knew you would be surprised to yeah. hear well you know you think some, everybody has pimento cheese sandwiches some things, though some things aren't popular there must be a southern thing i think it is i think it's a southern thing and it's not known uh i guess a lot in the it's like beer cheese uh, when we first mentioned beer cheese like i'm talking about during your blog day that yeah. way back. Yeah. Um, Tammy mentioned something about beer cheese and someone from Ohio said, what is beer what's cheese? beer cheese? I like beer and I like cheese. That yeah. sounds good yeah. together, you know. Right. And, and so, you know, so I think it's become more popular. Though. I do too. So we have a recipe for beer cheese on the channel. We also have... Do you have pimento cheese? I have pimento cheese. So I have actually pimento cheese two different ways. So if you want to try it. Um, so in the, in, believe it or not, it's two, it's two ways in one video. It tastes very, very, very different though, believe it or not. Um, Did you put peppers in, green peppers in one of them? An onion. It, yeah. it, it, it tastes green peppers out of, out of completely different, different than just traditional pimento cheese. But traditional pimento cheese, if you buy block mm -hmm. cheese, not already shredded cheese, because it has a different texture. Mm -hmm. But if you buy a block of cheese and shred it yourself, it'll make some of the best pimento cheese mm -hmm. you've ever had. It's it's so easy Cheddar, to make. Cheddar, Colby. Either one of those. Very, are very easy to make pimento cheese, and it's delicious. You very, have to like kind of like uh, the pickly kind of pimento flavor too, though. Yeah, but you. Do, I mean, I don't know. I, it's I not guess super I'm just strong, used but it's to there. It. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, um, we had so many uh, box uh, boxes to open this week that I decided to put them in a video by themselves. I'm sure you you can understand why. And some people don't want to see the box openings in the blog. Some people love to see the box openings. Plus, so, you got a bonus conversation about pimento cheese. About pimento cheese. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.